Hello again, everybody. Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief for Motherboards.org. Welcome to the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Well, you've requested it, and we're complying. People wanted a head-to-head -head review of the old GTX 295 versus the new HD 5970. Follow along as we show you the specs of these cards, and as we take them through three of the most popular games that are out today at their highest resolutions. Follow along and see which one's actually faster. All right, everybody. Get ready to rumble. The first head-to-head -head competition of the HD 5970 versus the GTX 295. As you can see, one card is 13.5 inches long, one card is 10.5 inches long. The Gigabyte has a limited three-year warranty, while the EVGA card has a limited lifetime warranty. Here we show you shots of both the rear IOs of the GTX 295 and the HD 5970. Both cards have two DVI ports. The main difference is being that one has a mini display port while the other one has an HDMI out. Here we show you a head-to-head -head comparison of the features of both the GTX 295 and the HD 5970. The ATI 5970 comes ahead in all aspects, and this is how it should be as this is a newer card with newer technology. The GTX 295 supports 10.1 DirectX while the HD 5970 does DirectX 11. Each card has its own unique characteristics. The GTX 295 and all NVIDIA products feature PhysX. The 5970 and all ATI products feature iFinity. Here are the list of the parts that we use in our test system. Notice that we have overclocked the CPU to 3.4 gigahertz. These next games that we use in our testing are per you, the user's request. We use Dirt 2. We also use the brand new Modern Warfare 2, and we skip back and use Crisis Warhead per your request. Okay, well the test results are in. And as you can see, if we're just going to do a performance comparison, the new ATI HD 5970 is faster than the older GTX 295. A few things to take into consideration though before you purchase either one of these cards. The GTX 295 is a little bit smaller, can fit in more cases, there's about a $200 price difference, and this one has a true HDMI out, unlike the adapter of the ATI card, which requires a display port to an adapter. So these are a few things to consider. This is a newer card, so it actually should be faster, and it is faster. But before making a buying decision, just be sure that you compare all the things so that you can make the proper decision. The winner, the ATI HD 5970.